Howdy, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing today, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Taurus, for the uh, week of December 2022. Can y'all believe, Taurus, we're already into uh, the last year of the month? All right. So if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Taurus, be sure to let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you. That's how I keep up with y'all. See the comments, of course. And the best way to support this tarot reading channel, Taurus, is just to give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, and it does help me out quite a bit when you guys do this. So thank you to those who take that extra step. But um, let's get right into your tarot reading here, uh, Taurus. I'm really excited about what's happening. Be sure to remember, if you enjoy this tarot reading, check out your sun, moon, and your rising Taurus. You know, you want to base your entire life off of your one zodiac reading same thing when it comes to tarot readings on youtube check out your sun moon and your rising so getting right into this year taurus we have the world six of swords with the eight of pentacles that's the eight right yeah the eight of pentacles coming in here for you taurus right a lot of closures all right you're completing a chapter and it's in this last chapter that you have been in taurus this gives me like a sense of like uh, bittersweet energy especially when i see the six of swords here it's very uh bittersweet energy having to close the chapter of a book and start like a new uh, a new storyline it's time for you to upgrade in this type of dynamic tours i wouldn't be surprised if recently you've had to move on from especially career wise i feel like i see some career movement happening i feel like it's still in the works if that is the case but especially when it comes to like people as well taurus you know maybe recently you had to come to terms with the fact that there are certain people that you have outgrown essentially here all right let's get a little bit more detail about this here Taurus I'm really interested about this like what did you have to walk away from what did you have to in the name of a clean slate all right I feel like it is maybe like an accumulation of a lot of things for you Taurus that pushed that made you go to this decision here but ultimately you you're craving just like new energy you're craving just like it's like a whole new storyline it's almost at this point for you Taurus where it's like you realize being like all right 2022 honey it wasn't the greatest all right and neither was 2021 or maybe even 2020 all right but you it's like you have your heart set on 2023 Taurus to be your greatest yet and I feel like your approach of doing that is by learning to realize being like all right let me just um, move on from this chapter of my life here it's time to ask for bigger and better things for myself all right when it comes to your real relationships when it comes to your job and even all right and so in the name of uh moving on eight of pentacles taurus all right the eight of pentacles is a card of going up in the ranks going back to school you might have recently considered taurus going back to school to get a degree or um, certificate for something as well i feel like your intention is to just improve on current things especially even finances for you i wouldn't be surprised if financially things are going to start picking up for you yeah wheel of fortune coming in right afterwards this is it's just your story is just about to be getting really really good taurus can i just let you know that your story is about to be getting really really good here the wheel of fortune is letting you know that whatever efforts that you have been putting in right now Taurus of like because I get like this impression here where it's like you're setting yourself up for 2023 to do something big maybe you're setting yourself up to start like a whole new journey for yourself for your career maybe moving or something like that but whatever big plans that you're setting yourself up for in 2023 Taurus I really get this distinct feeling that um it's really going to uh be really good for you all right four of pentacles why is this four of pentacles here with the king of wands four of pentacles with the king of wands there is like this implication taurus all right and you guys can tell me in the comments below but there does seem to be like this implication here of where for a while now you haven't really been able to get out of the house or maybe you haven't been feeling too motivated of getting out of the house drawing too much attention to yourself taurus i feel like you're stepping into a chapter of your life of where you're going to be getting a lot more attention on you here I, f I really do feel like you it's like you have really let go of like a major dead weight that has held you back for such a long time Taurus and it's really interesting just observing this because it doesn't even feel like it's just like one specific facet of your life Taurus right obviously I do get more so in specific Taurus I do get like financially is the main focus for most of you guys here but in this dynamic here I really get like just clean slate in general social circles who you're talking to um 
everything towards truly like there's a lot of changes that i feel like you're setting yourself up for um in 2023 and i feel like i like the direction of it so let's take a look at your social life now taurus let's see what's going on socially for you uh what's manifesting could be romantic could be platonic darling we have the nine of pentacles coming in here and then let's get a couple more cards the eight of cups stepping forward and then we have the sun card coming in here now i'm interested about this eight of cups what's happening with this eight of cups here eight of wands okay <clears throat> Taurus, this is, I get a couple of different messages here. If you're in a long distance type of relationship, or maybe you're talking to someone that there's like a distance or is a factor here, I kind of, I feel as if that distance is going to be closing off here really quickly here. All right. I, there's definitely some movement when it comes to like some person in your life. Maybe someone has been very emotionally distant towards you. If it's not a sense of like physical distance here, but with that sun card here, I like it a lot as well. All right. The sun card is really blessing this nicely. I get like the, the energy that we're tapping into Taurus is like, there's some type of distance physically, maybe emotionally here, nine of pentacles coming in here. What is that about the lover's energy? And then the justice card okay so here's how the story is going here taurus this gives me like a social situation of there is some type of distance that is happening right now that distance is starting to close off that is for a fact that distance is starting to close off i feel like the reason as to why this connection um there was maybe like a distance in the first place or just like it wasn't manifest or like growing or progressing as quickly as you'd want it to was as it's almost as if both you guys had your own personal things to take care of uh Taurus right so you know especially if the, someone hasn't been as emotionally available to you as you would like or something in that manner I get like this sense of where it's like this time that you guys had separated allowed for you to get your work done all right allowed for you to do what you needed to do in your personal life but same for them i feel as if like what you were wanting from them like they wanted to provide that on some level but they had to do their, their own thing like they had to take care of their business they had to manage something going on in their own personal life that you may not be aware about all right and i say that you may not be aware about it because of that moon energy and then right afterwards i'm pulling from the back of this deck here and then right afterwards you have the page of cups uh taurus all right so what we're talking about by definition new people entering your life but as well as talks it talks about the um deepening of current connections as well and so really this whole entire spread here for your social life is just this sense of where it's like someone that good connection you know if there's no drama no you know if it's just you two in a room you guys would get along beautifully and whatever manifests from that connection is dependent on you and like what you're wanting from that connection right ultimately but i really do see like some type of social connection becoming a lot more clear it's like now that you took took care of your dead weight and they took care of their dead weight you're going to notice some type of relationship in your life really starting to uh grow beautifully without all that resistance all right so let's now get into just some messages that you need to hear today what you need to look out for perhaps taurus all right and then i'll leave you to it for the rest of your day today so taurus first things first we have the king of swords now before i start speaking on the king of swords i want to clarify this because i have a couple of feelings about this knight of swords and then interesting actually and then we have the hanged man so first things first i want you to hear uh taurus is that you're you're really about to be going into a lot of new territory all right i feel like you're really about to be stepping out of your comfort zone uh here in the coming days i don't know if there's an event that's causing this or could even be associated with that social situation where i noticed like a lot of distance being closed off and what have you taurus but you're really going to be getting out of your element here in the coming days and i want you to give yourself more credit you're extremely intelligent you're able to think on your feet when you're put into the position where you have to you may not want to but you are very quick on your feet and i feel like you're about to be stepping into a period of your life where your spiritual team is telling you taurus we're just like hey things are about to be speeding up in your life and whatever facets it's going to be different for all of you obviously uh your life is, is essentially your life is really about to be speeding up for you now that you had to take care of that dead weight whatever that dead weight was things are going to be sp picking up you're going to you know might have some feelings of being overwhelmed but just understand that you're going to be able to handle it and trust your instincts right taurus you are a lot more intelligent than what you give yourself 
yourself credit for you might have just lost sight of that or maybe you've forgotten about that due to like whatever heavy weight again that i feel like it was really uh, impacting you for or impeding you for a while now your oracle card for today my Taurus is the butterfly spirit number 11 in numerology all right so write down the number 11 to see what messages that has all right this is an angel number a master number as well butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful so ultimately Taurus I've been right on the nose about this this entire time I've gotten this distinction uh distinct feeling that you have been uh, you, I don't know what it is I keep on referencing that you guys had to release some big major dead weight it's going to be different for all of you but I feel like at the at the root cause of it or the the core of it Taurus was whatever this dead weight this baggage was it was really stopping you from finishing your cocooning process I feel like there's a certain point in time in your life Taurus where you're really working on yourself making leaps and bounds towards your goals and overcoming any obstacles and what have you and then something ha happened that you've been needing to na manage for a long time that made it really hard for your own personal growth you may have been able to help everyone else thrive and live their life but i feel like for you um it's been suffering a little bit lacking a little bit because no one's been making sure that taurus is being taken care of and i feel like now you're having to take matters into your own hands ultimately taurus and be like all right i gotta make b i got to uh help out this cocooning process this transformation process sooner um take it into my own hands essentially Taurus so I overall really like where this energy is going I'm gonna let you go here uh Taurus because I feel pretty confident about everything that I said here thank you so much for allowing me the privilege to read your tarot cards today Taurus remember to check out your sun moon rising and your venus sign if you're interested in relationships and I'll connect to you sometime in the near future Taurus bye darling